Now, a snowblower accident has left a new Lennox man recovering from surgery tonight. He is badly injured his hand while trying to unclog the machine. He's not the only person recently injured by a snowblower. John Garcia live tonight in Hoffman Estates with his story and some advice. John. Yeah, doctors are seeing a lot of these types of injuries and snowblowers, as you would imagine, very popular this season. In fact, they're having a really hard time keeping snowblowers in stock here at the Ace Hardware in Hoffman Estates. But doctors are also reminding us that these are heavy machinery and they can be dangerous. The snow season this year in Chicago is not for the faint of heart. It has fallen often and in big amounts, which is why snowblowers are in great demand and why doctors are seeing more injuries from them. Keith Formell had surgery on his hand this morning after nearly losing several fingers trying to clear the chute when he thought the blades of his snowblower were stopped. It was one of the most painful scary things that I've gone through. Dr. John Fernandez says he's seen numerous patients in the last couple of weeks with similar injuries. He says the heavy snow seems to be the root cause and injuries are often serious, including some patients who lose fingers. They're basically partial amputations or subcodal amputations, bad fractures, tendon injuries, and things of that nature. Experts say most snowblower injuries happen when people stick their hands or feet near the blades. They say you should use a tool instead to unclog the chute. If they spray the chute and inside the auger part, uh, it helps reduce that uh, snow from sticking. Keith Formell says he's used his snowblower hundreds of times with no problems, but... All it takes is one time for something not to work the way you expect it to. And... Um, you could be without three fingers or an entire hand. Nobody wants that. No, nobody wants that, that's for sure. Dr. Fernandez says uh, a couple of things. Obviously, you want to use this, the tool, rather than this, your hand, to stick down that chute to unclog it. Also says you should make somebody, make sure somebody knows where you're at and that you have a cell phone in case you do have a problem so you can get help right away. Live in Hoffman Estates, John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Yeah, John, is a danger. Thanks so much for that information.